it's probably an awkward thing to say, but I can't be a self-respecting, well-educated black man in 2023 singing Those Were the Days. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't really work. However, in my defense, the theme was written uh, in the style of the American songbook of the 30s, 40s, 50s, and even to the 60s to some degree. The American songbook of the 30s, 40s, and 50s was jazz and musicals, all of which was pretty much jazz, was, which was written by black Americans in Harlem and Chicago and St. Louis and Natchez and Memphis, right? And one of the kind of musical pieces or, or one of the musical connections to West Africa in a lot of that music is what's called the major pentatonic scale, which is a scale that's very, very prevalent in West African melodies, not so prevalent in many, West, in many European traditions. And it's in that song. It's a major pentatonic scale. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and I love it but I can't really sing it without a long explanation like this. So what I did was I stole it. I took that melody and I stole it back. I wrote a new song, it's got this Afro-Cuban bottom bass, right? And it feels very different in that song. And then in addition to that, I wrote a sister melody. That sister melody, these are the lyrics, these are the days, these are the days we've been waiting for, these are the days we are the ones. Um, and I put those two melodies in conversation with each other over this new world, and it feels different. It feels absolutely different. And I feel like I can sing it now. So there's also a part in there that I'd love you all to consider singing with me. And uh, I'll teach it to you in the middle of the song. Um, but this is the song, These Are the Days. So the lyrics are, these are the days 
These are the days we've been waiting for. These are the days we are the ones. And the melody goes like this. Quite as much. 